Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a twist on a really classic snack. It's homemade Chex Mix, but it's done in the slow cooker. And this is one of my favorite ways to make it because it's just kind of easy. You just throw everything in, stir it occasionally, and you're good to go. So let's get on into it. I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arm. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scare the monsters under your this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need the um, like check squares, honey nut Cheerios, some honey roasted peanuts, um, Cheez Its, and some pretzel sticks. And then for like the sauce, you're going to need some butter, Worcestershire, and Lowry's. You can use like the different types of checks if you want. I just kept it really simple and used all the same kind because we don't really eat this cereal and I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of boxes of like corn checks and wheat checks. I just used all the rice checks and it turns out perfectly fine. But you're gonna need eight cups of the check cereal and I'm just measuring everything out and dumping it right into the slow cooker to like save on dishes, but you can definitely measure it in a bowl and mix everything up that way if you would like. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to save dishes. And you need two cups of pretzels. I'm just kind of breaking them up here just so they're a little bit smaller pieces. The thin pretzels actually work great with this, but Audi didn't have any, and so I just got the regular pretzel sticks. Then you're gonna need about a cup to a cup and a half of honey roasted peanuts. Again, you can use regular peanuts if you want. We just like the sweetness that the honey roasted peanuts and the honey nut Cheerios add, but you're gonna need about a cup to a cup and a half of the Cheerios as well. And just, again, dump everything right on in there. Then I did about two cups of um, the Cheez-Its. You can adjust the measurements as you see fit. Um, I actually did end up adding more of like the sauce about halfway through, but I'm just going in with clean hands and mixing everything up. You can use a spoon. I just find that it's easier to use my hands. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the mixture out just so I can stir the sauce around really, really well. Um, and get make sure everything's really coated. And my slow cooker is kind of full at this point, so I just find it's easier to take um, a few cups out and have more area to stir around. But then you're gonna use a whole stick of butter, one tablespoon of Lowry's, and a quarter cup of Worcestershire. And I always add a little bit extra Worcestershire because I just really like the flavor. And mix all that up, make sure your butter's melted. Mix in the salt. And then you're gonna add in the Worcestershire and mix all that up. And I poured a little over half on the main mixture. Well, actually about three quarters. I poured about three quarters of it on the main mixture and then about a quarter of it on the stuff that I had taken out just to kind of stir it a little more evenly. One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby I only want you it's true and then he said I wrote you a love song 
Once everything is mixed together, I'm just gonna put my lid on and set it to cook on low. And I set my time for an hour just so it would beep at me and let me know, but you can definitely just set it on high and then set a timer or however you wanna time it. But you do wanna go in every hour and stir it. And the first hour, it's gonna be a little soggy and <laughs> that's normal, um, but just stir everything around the best you can. Held her clothes under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. And now they're singing their love song, and they sing it kind of beautiful, calling each other sweetheart. I promise nobody can get in their way. And this is where I noticed that it was kind of drier than I would like it to be. So I'm going to take out about four to five cups of it again and then add a little bit more butter and Worcestershire to the mix. And I also added in some garlic powder. I added about a half a stick of melted butter with just a few dashes of Worcestershire and then just a little bit of garlic powder and just kind of poured that over. Um, sometimes it works out fine, sometimes it's a little drier than it needs to be. This is just personal preference. I just know that I wanted more of the butter Worcestershire sauce all over it, so that's what I added. And at this point, my slow cooker was kind of filling up with some condensation, so I laid a paper towel on top between it and the lid. Um, this technically is a fire hazard, so I'm not advising you to do it, but I'm just saying that it works out for me. And once the final hour is up, I'm just going to go in and give it one last stir. I do want to mention that you do want to keep it moving the entire three hours that it's cooking because if it sits on the bottom too long, it can burn and you really don't want that to happen. So just make sure you're stirring it evenly and getting all the way through the bottom. But at this point it's done, so I'm just going to go ahead and move it to a cookie sheet. And it did end up taking two cookie sheets because there's so much of it. And you want to let it cool completely at this point because if you taste it right now it's going to be a little soggy and you're going to think it's a fail but I promise you once it cools it will be just fine. And this is how everything turns out. Um, like I said, it's just a nice little twist on a classic. I really love the sweetness that the Honey Nut Cheerios add and the Honey Roasted Peanuts. And the Cheez-Its are a nice, just a little addition as well. And then cooking it in the slow cooker is just such an easy way to not have to turn on your oven and it's just easy to have it all in one place. But my family really enjoys this. And if you, if you try it, please let me know. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you being here. I'm so thankful for you and I hope you'll stick around for more videos. Thanks again. Bye.